Sveiki! Hi! My name is Baiba Freidenfeld and I teach Latvian language as a foreign language. Today, in this video, I will explain more about first conjugation verbs. So this is the first part of this, yeah, of this group uh, of verbs because first conjugation verbs change quite often and quite differently. So I will need several videos to tell you um, more about that. So today it's a one group where is um, all the verbs have something in common, yeah. And I was making the verbs in the groups. What helps you to learn quicker and easier way? And sometimes it will be not exactly like in the grammar books. Okay, I'm just looking at a different uh, perspective. Yeah. So let's start. So today uh, we will talk about non-reflexive verbs in first conjugation and their endings. And then uh, this one group of verbs, it's, to all of these verbs is something in common, is the pronunciation differences. There's quite few and very, very useful and needed verbs in this group. And then I will tell you how the verb change, if the same verbs, the same group of verbs, um, we um, add some prefixes. And again, the reflexive verb forms from the same verbs and their endings. Yeah. So first conjugation is this one first group. And in this group we have verbs with one syllable. Yeah. But they are often used with the different prefixes. So you need to know the prefix and then you can realize what is the verb. Is it one syllable verb or not? And if it's a one syllable verb, it belongs to this group always. And they are very tricky, yeah, because they change not only the ending, but the information, the letters in the stem can change. Uh, sometimes there is a change in only in the past or only in the future on, or in all forms. So that's why it's very important to look at uh, each verb separately. And you'll see that today as well. So, endings. So, if you've been looking at the previous videos, uh, you already would recognize that the endings are more or less the same. So, endings we already are familiar with. So, if we start to look at the future forms, it's exactly like with other verbs. Yeah, I asked you to learn this strange word, should see a sim sit. So, it's the same endings we will apply to these verbs. Past. In this group, there, there will be the verb, so it doesn't have the J. Yeah, remember we had U, Y, 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 and now we have U, I, A, A, M, A. So no J's. But remember, the change will happen before the ending. In the present, S will end with the U, and TU, either without ending, so what's left without T, yeah, or with the ending I. It varies from group to group. A third person doesn't have ending, so it stops at the last letter before T. And then uh, it's um, mes, am, and use at. And there you go. Um, the verbs in this group. Zept, zert, nemt, tjert, mest, vest, est, dekt. Nest, select. Yeah, so <clears throat> uh, in the moment you will see what other changes are happening. Only verb tept keeps the same form all the way through, just ending changes. Yeah, es tapu, tu tep, vinš tep, mes tepam, jūs tepat. Yesterday, vakar, es cepu, tu cepi, viņš cepa, mēs cepām, jūs cepāt. Es cepšu, tu cepsi, viņš ceps, mēs cepsim, jūs cepsiet. Ok. 
also nest to carry something in your hands yeah your vest is also to carry but by transportation usually or like a dog by the leash yeah es nesu to nes viņš nes mēs nesam jūs nesat es nesu to nesi viņš nesa mēs nesam un jūs nesāt but in the future also nest has some change but that <coughs> in the moment yeah but present and past is like except and there is no big changes there so today we will work about all these verbs in different ways pronunciation differences that was the thing i mentioned what is in all of these verbs is in common and it means that maybe if your hearing is is, is very good and you can hear a language is very well <clears throat> maybe you heard already the little pronunciation differences or maybe you notice that sometimes we say es adu and then it's i s e du so it's <clears throat> we use this i call them wide and short uh, narrow e eh sounds yeah it could be applied to the short a and long a as well and all of these verbs when we pronounce it's spelled the same yeah always the same but in present except to and the rest of the forms will be with a wide a ah, wide or sometimes people call it broad a ah, it's more closer to english a yeah and the rest of the s is e eh. yeah for e eh, you don't need to open your jaw much but for a ah, you must open your mouth yeah otherwise it doesn't work <laughs> ah, un, eh. that did. <clears throat> let's look at the verbs again es tsa po. now in the past it's actually spelled exactly the same es tse po. Tse po. yesterday on tsa po. now and in the future it's again narrow tse pšu. Tu cep. Viņš cep. Mēs cepam. Jūs cepat. Ja. <coughs> Dzert. Um, some, uh, um, all the grammar books probably and lots of linguists would say, oh, that's wrong, it's, it shouldn't be here. Uh, because we're supposed to pronounce it with a narrow E. Eh? Yeah, because um, some time ago in Latvian language in the alphabet we had two R's one was R and one was soft R or R also with a comma underneath R. and then the E always would be a short because in the verb zert uh, we're supposed to use this soft R but it doesn't exist anymore and then and therefore people don't pronounce it with the narrow E anymore that's why I put the zert also in this bro group because in real life people don't pronounce it zero people would say is zero yeah but that's nonsense don't worry about that um so that's yeah and uh, as you can see spelling doesn't change yeah we just change the pronunciation that is zero but in the past it changes to long a so we can recognize the past form is zero it's narrow but long is zero but also the spelling change in all the past forms with the verb zert will be with the long a to zeri viņš zera mēs zerām jūs zerāt ņemt um, again we have uh, the same form yeah that past is with the long a es ņemu un es ņēmu tu ņem tu ņēmi viņš ņem viņš ņēma <coughs> And the future go back to the short a, yeah. Cert, to catch, es ceru un es ceru. Tu cer, tu ceri. Yeah, you can hear. We really pronounce those vowels long. <clears throat> Mest, uh, so es matu. As you can see in this verb, in all forms, s changes to t. Yeah. Es matu. Es metu un es metīšu. Tu met, tu meti, tu metīsi. 
vest <coughs> s changes to d es vedu es vedu 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 vedishu tu ved tu vedi vedisi so here the spelling always will be with a d here it's always going to be with a t yeah but the pronunciation will be different from s in present and in the past and same here same here is adu now un es edu before un edishu dekt um, the only f um, difference is with the tu in present to deads it's quite common if there is some change the g changes to z yeah to deads otherwise it's everywhere else will be dekt yeah es dagu to deads viņš dag mēs dagam jūs dagat in the past as well as they go to dig dead deggy and so on <clears throat> um nest nest so present and past i mentioned already in the future we need to add e yeah as you can see otherwise we will have nest shoe nest shoe so it would be hard to pronounce so we add e in, in there nest shoe yeah it's nasu it's nesu to nessi un tu nes, nes, nav, un nesi in the past. Slekt, <coughs> in the present we use z instead of g, es slēdzu, tu slēdz, viņš slēdz, mēs slēdzam, jūs slēdzat. And in the past it's going to be narrow e and g, es slēdzu, in the past as well, yeah? es slēdzu, tu slēdzi, viņš slēdza, mēs slēdzām un slēdzāt. But in the future it's g. Es slēkšu, tu slēksi, viņš slēks. As you can hear, you can't hear it's proper g. It sounds like k. Slēkšu. Yeah? It's not very strong g. <coughs> you need to remember the spelling. Yeah? It will sound like k. Es slēkšu, tu slēksi. It's hard to say slēkšu. Slēkšu. Mm. Now let's see some sentences. Es cepu pankūkas. Vakar arī es cepu pankūkas. Tad es cepu tagad un vakar arī es cepu. Vai jūs dzerat sarkanu vīnu? Nē, es dodu priekšroku baltvīnam. Vai jūs dzerat sarkanu vīnu? Do you drink red wine? No, I prefer, prefer es dodu priekšroku. Yeah, like I, I give first hand, <laughs> literally would be. Baltvīnam, to the white wine. Es ņemšu vienu baltu kafiju ar cukuru. Yeah, I will take. In the restaurant and cafeterijas you can use that. Yeah, I will take. And uh, it will be used in a future form. Yeah, es ņemšu. Ķer bumbu. Catch the ball. Ķer bumbu. Met. Throw. Es ķeru. I'm catching. Es vedu bērnus uz skolu ar vilcienu. Es vedu bērnus uz skolu ar vilcienu. As I said, <coughs> vest is to carry by transportation, yeah, also uh, by the leash. But uh, at the same time, in English, I think we would say, I would, I, I'm taking my kids to the school by train, yeah. So to take somewhere, something with the transport. Uh, vest. Uh, est. Es gribu ēst, I want to eat, so ēst, remember infinitive as a second verb, it goes back to infinitive form, then we don't use that d. Ēst, es gribu ēst, second verb, right? Ēd ābolu, eat an apple. Es nēdu ābolus, I don't eat apples. Ziemas laikā sveces dag katrā mājā. Sveces dag candles. Yeah, a light uh, in every house in the winter time. Kamīnā dag uguns. So with the deck, there is these two meanings. One is to literally to burn, but also is to light, light to light up like a candles, to light a candles. Or kamīnā uh, dag uguns. Kamīns is a fireplace, so the fire burns or lights in the yeah, uh, fireplace. Or kamīnā dag papīrs. No, that literally will be the bur the paper is burning in the fireplace. Yeah, burns. Slaked. No, sorry, nest. 
Mēs nesam grāmatas uz skolu. That's the verb nest, yeah? The one before the last one here. It's a bit in the wrong place. So we carry books to the school. Yeah, in, your, in our hands or in our backpacks. But we, we use our legs and we, we carry it, yeah? Veikalus lēdz piecos. Es neslēdzu ārdurvis, kad eju staigāt ar suni. Veikalus lēdz. Yeah, we don't say who, but someone is uh, looking the shop at five. And uh, es neslēdzu ārdurvis. I don't uh, close or lock the... I don't close like with a key, yeah? Not just to close, but to lock, really. Uh, I don't close the door, front door, when I walk with, with the... When I go for a walk with my dog. It's nest lads our door is front door. Our door, so we call it uh, outside door. And the select is to close. But in English, close is just to, to close, right? But we need to lock. Select is also to use a key. Yeah, not just to close it. So, now I will talk about uh, groups of verbs separately. Zert, ņemt un čert. So, three of these verbs um, have something in common. So, it means that in the past, all three verbs will use long e instead of short e. Yeah? I mentioned that, yeah, already. Ko tu dzer? Vakar es dzēru kafiju visu dienu. Šodien nedzeršu nemaz. Tāpēc es dzeru tēju. Ko tu dzer? What do you drink? Vakar es dzēru kafiju visu dienu. So yesterday I drank coffee all day. Šodien nedzeršu nemaz. Today I won't drink at all. Tāpēc es dzeru tēju. That's why I'm drinking tea. Ja, vakar es dzēru. Šodien es dzeru un nedzeru. Nedzeršu in the future. Ko tu ņemsi? So what are you having here yeah, in the restaurant or cafeteria, we could say, ko tu ņemsi? But in Latin, we would say, what are you taking? Ko tu ņemsi? Vakar es ņēmu šos salātus. So yesterday I took those salads, that salad. Tie nebija labi. I wasn't good. Tāpēc šodien ņemu šos. So that's why today I will take these ones. I'm taking these ones present form. Yeah? Kādas zivis jūs ķerat? So, if you see a person fishing, you can ask them, uh, what fish are you catching? Kādas zivis jūs ķerat? Vakar mēs ķerām lašus, bet šodien butes. Oh, I forgot to check up what's butes. Yesterday we were catching uh, summons, and today butes. You know, that's the very flat fish. Uh, with the eyes like on the sides. <laughs> Sorry, you can check the dictionary form what that means. Butte. Butte. Yeah, it's a plural form. So create your sentence now with these verbs. Zert, ņemt un čert. And try to use a present and a past uh, or future form. But try to use at least, yeah, past and another form that you remember those. Uh, stop the video and create some sentences. And then answer my questions. Kad jūs dzerat sarkanu vīnu? When do you drink red wine? Ko jūs dzerat vakar vakariņās? What did you drink yesterday uh, in a dinner? Vai jūs bērnībā ķērāt tauriņus? In your childhood, did you catch the butterflies? Kur jūs ņēmāt šo kreklu? Again, ņemt, uh, we kind of translate as to take, yeah, but in English I would say, where did you get this shirt? The shirt you're wearing, where did you get that? <laughs> Kur jūs ņēmāt šo kreklu? Vai jūs ņemat līdzi pusdienas uz darbu? Ņemt līdzi is to take along, to take with you when you go somewhere. Um, vai jūs ņemat līdzi pusdienas uz darbu? So, do you take your lunch to work? Do you bring it from home? Do you, yeah. 
So write down your answers. And uh, if you want me to check, feel free to send it over. Next. Next group of verbs, so it is also the same verbs, yeah, but something what's in common to all of this. The pronunciation is, yeah, uh, in all of these verbs. But then um, I think it would be easier to learn in these short uh, groups that something else is in common. And so in all th four of these verbs, mest, vest, est, to nest, and in common is that that in the past, in the future, we use that extra e suffix, e, yeah, before the ending. Yeah, metishu, vedisi, edis, nesis, metisim, vedisim, edisiet, nesisiet. Yeah, that's a future, but that's not all. So the other change I couldn't put uh, in this table because that would be too messy. Yeah, we couldn't clearly understand. For mest, s will change to t in present and past, and in the future. Yeah, in the future as well. Why didn't I put the future? Of course, the future as well. My apologies. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's meti shu. It's t and then e and sh. Yeah, for this one as well. Vedi si. Vedi si. So definitely d yeah, is also in the future and the ending. Un e d si. Yeah. And uh, for nest. As I mentioned before, present past it doesn't have any difference. It's only the e in the future. But for these, basically in all forms, yeah, not just present past, future as well. I'm so sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> I skipped that. And that is matu, uh, metu, metishu. Yeah, to ved, to vedi, vedisi. Yeah, the 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 um, vinch ad eda edis mes nasam nesam nesisim yus nasat nesat nesisiet Is metu ara visu kas ir saplīsis. So I up, throw out everything what's broken. Agrāk mēs nemetām ārā, mēs labojām lietas. So before or earlier, we didn't throw out, we fixed things. Or repaired. Yeah. Viņš ved suni pastaigāties tikai reizi dienā. Viņš ved suni pastaigāties. He takes a dog for a walk just once a day. Mēs redīsim kaķi pie vecmāmiņas. So we will take our cat to the grandma. Vakar mēs ēdām garšīgu zupu. So yesterday we eat a tasty soup. Es gribu ēst to atkal. I want to eat it again. Es gribu ēst. Yeah? Second verb. Es nesu ziedus kolēģei uz biroju. So I bring, oh, I take the flowers uh, to the office to my colleague. Kam tu nesīsi ziedus? To whom are you taking the flowers? And again, um, <coughs> bring, yeah, create your sentences with mest, vest, est un nest. Dekt un slēgt, another small group. As you can see, I haven't had anything in here, so that the change is somewhere else. So for dekt, yeah, to deads. But for the rest of the forms, it's going to be g, yeah, and slēgt. Yeah, it changes to z in present and past. But not in the future. No, here it's correct, yeah. But 
but here we have only in two, only here. Good change to do. That's it. Shodin it take cars to the no mandagada. Of course it can't burn, yeah, like that would be, or light up. But sometimes we use these expressions like in this sentence, today is such a hot day, my skin is burning. Mandagada. Te vausis nedag, mēs šodien par tevi daudz runājām. So again, some kind of expression we sometimes use. Um, doesn't your ears burn because we talked about you a lot? So we believe that, you know, sometimes you feel that your ears are getting red and burns. And, <laughs> and then we say, oh, someone is talking about me too much today. <laughs> so again, expression there, ausis nedag. Why man aus is dag, man aus is dag, yeah. And of course, mainly this will be about something else. Tava uh, istaba dag gaisma. So the light is on in your room. We say that light is, yeah, gaisma is a light. And dag is burned, but so we don't say the, the, the room is burning, right? So that's the light what's on. And, um, but we say that, yeah, the light is burning, but it doesn't burn, the light is lighting. Yeah, in your room, dag gaisma. Yeah, every, everywhere we see the light is on, we say dag gaisma. Slides gaisma ara, switch the light off. Slekt is to close, as you can see, but slekt, uh, as you can see in this sentence, could mean also to switch it off. Slides ara, switch off. Yeah. Es slēgšu kontu jūsu bankā. No, this is the close. I will close the account in your bank. Yeah. Es slēgšu kontu account. Viņš slēdz jaunu līgumu. So he, I don't know, can we say that in English that you are closing a new contract? But it's not finishing, you're just starting. Yeah, you can think about an equivalent in your language. How would you say that you are making a new contract? So we said, Mish slads jaunu kontraktu. So they are making new contract that's signed today, just now. Mish slads am dur viskadejam uz veikalu. So we close, but not just to close the door, but we need to lock it with a key. That's what it means, select, yeah? Mēs slēdzam durvis, ka dejam uz veikalu. So, mēs in present with the dz, yeah? Viņš in present with the dz, es in the future with the g, slēgšu, yeah? Tavā istabā present, istabā dag. Gaisma, so gaisma, a third person, yeah, something like it, but, yeah, gaisma dag. Uh, sled, switch it off, yeah, sled, gaismu ara. And again, dag, uh, in present, yeah, and again, dag, in present. Again, build your sentences. If you need some help to understand, is that right? Can I say that? Feel free to write it in the comments or send me an email. Rakstro atal. That's the closest picture I could get. I hope he's not stealing the car. <laughs> So that's not all. Now verbs with the prefixes. So same verbs but with the prefixes. And I'm using only most common prefixes because there could be a lot of other prefixes as well. But that would be mm, then each verb we need to look at yeah, separately again. A different video. But these are the most common. So mm, this is important to understand these finished action prefixes because those would be the forms we use all the time. 
Yeah, usually we will use this verb with that prefix most of the time, because if you don't use this finished action, that means it's done, it's complete. I wanna get it done. I'm planning to get it done. Yeah. Otherwise, in Latin language, the verb is like non-stopping. It's like ongoing. It's yeah. It's like a to take. I'm taking, 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 taking. As long as I'm not finishing to take, I'm continue to take. So we need to use that prefix to get it done. So grab it finally. Otherwise, you're like halfway there and you can't get to the end. Yeah. Like it's, it's not a verb from this group, but uh, if you know the verb maxat. Yeah, and we use it samaksat. Otherwise, you're paying, 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 paying. <laughs> you get it done, samaksat. Like opirkt, to buy. Yeah, you as perku perk. I'm by the tail and I'm buying, buying, and my that trolley is so full. I'm buying, 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 buying. But at some point, you have to get it done, right? No pirk. But uh, the same idea here. So tept uh, is to bake, and I want to get it done. It's istept. Why to istepi kutsingas? Why to istepi? Did you bake the cakes? Yeah. Why is gribu istep? I wanna bake something. I wanna get it done. Zert. Look at that beautiful picture. That's not me. Es is zero is pudeli. So I finished the whole bottle. Is zero so to drink out the whole bottle. Yeah. And then. Uh, uh, that's in Niemt, yeah. Sorry, it's in front, yeah. Niemt. Niemt is the Paniemt that's like us. Paniemt. Otherwise, you just Niemt, 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 Paniemt. Don't forget to take the keys. Paniemt that's like us, yeah. Es Paniemtshu. I will take it, yeah. Pieniemt. Dokumentus Pieniem Water Dienas. Pieniemt is to. Accept. Yeah, you know the word maybe PNM is like appointment times uh, when the yeah the doctor takes the patients uh, also with PNM asks PNM are the PNM patientus yeah like he kind of accepts accepts it takes the patients PNM. So the documents we accept on Tuesdays or we take on like no PNM to take off. No nem cepuri. No nem cepuri. Cert, again, finished action is no cert. Yeah, otherwise we cert, 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 like a, um, a flight. Yeah, you can, it takes some time to catch your flight. Not the flight you're playing, <laughs> not playing, but a little bzzz. <laughs> but when you get it done, oh, it's no cert. Yeah, and this is, it's no cert, pirmo uodu. So it's a spring now. In Latvia, and then if you catch the first mosquito, oh, it's already there. Oh no, it's not here. Pirmo uadu. It's easy to catch those, right? And um, for chat and mest, yeah. Also, this picture, for example, mest. We can pamest to throw like a little bit. Pamet man, throw me or throw in the air. As well, with a pamest could be, and the other meaning of pamest is to leave someone like uh, when you leave your girlfriend or boyfriend. Then Jan is pamet the ilzi, he left her, so and he moved away. Uh, as well, the same form is mest is to throw out. The prefix is is out. Yeah, is brought to drive out. Is mest to throw out. I is met boom Janem. Throw the ball to Janis throw away to some direction yeah where exactly it says yanim yeah and the opposite direction atmet boom man throw it to me atmet man so throw back to me west again eyes west suni veta so we take the dog away to the, the yeah vet is vet suni ara so take the dog out of the house yeah take it away take it out Atved lūdu dēlu no bērnu dārza. So bring please the sun from the kindergarten. Take it my direction. Take it where I am, like home or wherever you are. Est. Paest. Finished action. Es paēdu. 
It means I'm full. Espaedo. Yeah. If we use is, then we it doesn't mean I'm full, but just I ate everything what was in the plate or in the bowl. Yeah. Kurš izēda visus salātus. Who ate all the salad? Izēda so the salad has been has been eaten out of the something out from the bowl or plate. Kurš apēda visus konfektes. Apēda. It could be used that we izēda visus konfektes. If we have a uh, the candies in the box and the box now is empty, we could say kurš izēda visus konfektes. Yeah? Or the candies is in the small bowl or something. Um, that who ate it all out. Bet apēda, it ate up. Who ate up all the candies? Kurš apēda visus konfektes. Again, be creative. Create some sentences. Yeah, do help you. Dekt. No, is dekt I used as a finished action? I think you could say that. Is the gaspulze? Uh, spulze is a bulb, bulb, bulb. So the thing. Yeah, that's the dog, and that's me, fool. And where is our bulb? Um. Make sure you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> um, spulze, yeah, that's what we put in the lights. Like uh, spulze is dega, so it's off now. It doesn't work anymore. You have to change it. Is dega done? Out. It's like burnout. Is dega. You could use it for, and you can uh, hear it. People talking about when the person burns out, like. In the moment in the news, they talk about uh, a lot about teachers burning out because they have a lot of work. Yeah, is that like uh, emotionally burn out? It uh, could be us used as well. On ear uh, again, will be this more like not to like switch on. Wait, I will switch on the light, turn out the light. I don't know. Uh, what the best in English, but you got an idea, yeah, to get the light in the room, the action you do to get the light. Iedekšu gaismu, so in, yeah, and is dega, it's off. Now, nest. Mēs aizmasīsim vēstules uz pastu. Nest, again, away, somewhere away from where we are, so we will take the and um, let's us to the post. Atnesiet mājas darbus rīt. As a teacher, I would say, bring the homework to me tomorrow. I'm not saying to me, I just say atnesiet, and it, the prefix at tells me that you have to bring bring it my direction. So, take your time and build your sentences, yeah? I try to start to think these movements of these prefixes or these finished actions. Good luck. But that's not all. Again, describe pictures. What is happening here? That's not all. Reflexive verbs. So the same verbs uh, also can be some, uh, use some reflexive forms from the same verbs. What you need to understand that if 